So we all know how helpful UI kits can be when we're designing a website or a platform or an application, anything along the lines of that. We all know that. And Figma has a huge range of UI kits that you can use for free. You can just download them. And if you kind of think about it, if you just download a UI kit, you don't really need a designer, right? You have all of the content and all the ideas of how to create good looking design right here on Figma for free. So unless you've been living in Iraq, you probably already have heard of one of the best UI kits available for Figma and for devs out there. It's called Tailwind UI. UI, tailwindui.com. And if you've been on their website, you've seen that their work is amazing. However, it's $250. And for the average designer or for the average kind of person starting up in UI, that's pretty much unavailable. It's, it's too expensive, right? And so what I'm going to try to do in this video is try to cover Tailwind UI so that you don't have to. I'm going to go over all the assets, all the elements, and just do a quick overview so that you don't have to go in and spend your hard earned money on their UI system. And then from then, you can kind of take this and compare it to the other UI kits on Figma and you can see if it is worth that money for you in the end. So Tailwind is pretty much a CSS template builder where you have all of these elements and page sections and CTAs and stuff and you can just combine it and create a massive platform or a massive website where everything's already done for you and you don't really have to touch it. All the basics are pretty much already there and you don't have to do absolutely anything. So that's an amazing thing if you have no idea about design and you don't want to hire a designer and you're just a developer trying to get something out into the world. Now let's just dive right into it and I'll show you guys the first things that you see when you actually download it. So one of the first things that you see here is all of the color options and an icon set that they give you right off the bat. We have two different sets here, a filled in and a line version. And then we also have the types, so all the all the different fonts that they use. And this is all included when you download the, the Figma itself. So these are some of the basics that you're gonna need to use the software with or the, the Figma template with. But let's actually start getting into the page sections here and I'll show you guys a little by little how amazing this UI kit is. So when you download Tailwind Figma, you get a ton of options and a ton of different varieties of the same exact hero or the same exact feature section or pricing or FAQ, whatever it is, you always get multiple versions and multiple options so that you can kind of use different ones. Also within that, you don't just get desktop, you also get iOS. And and within that you have the static version and then the one with the open menu if it has one or or the pop-up or whatever it is, it will, it'll kind of show both of them side by side. So within the hero section, we see that we have a few different versions here and you can really start to imagine how you would use this in your own website or your own software. And it kind of allows you to expand experiment with different prototypes and different designs and you can kind of really take control right of all the options that you have and all the designs that they give you and you can kind of play around and see what really works best with your software or with your product and here we have the feature section again the same thing with them showing a desktop version and also an iOS version here we have different sections where we have a grid, here we have different sections. And then on the top of the frame, you'll see a little description of the actual frame. So we see here that it's a grid and a desktop, and obviously this will say mobile. But yeah, once you go down all these different sections, you can kind of take a look at how how well designed some of these some of these pages are. Now, that's not to say that maybe if everybody's using this icons, I mean this UI set, then you're not gonna really stand out from the crowd, right? But this is really just for people who have no intention of hiring a designer and for $250 a one-time fee, it is a lot cheaper than hiring a designer multiple times over for a weekly or an hourly set or whatever it is. This is a much cheaper alternative for people who have no idea about design and don't really want to get into design. So these UI sets have been designed with a lot of care and you can see that it's really professionally made and obviously you can kind of use your imagination here and if you hold down command and obviously this is a, a known trick if you have used Figma before but if you're on a MacBook hold down command and double click and here you can kind of change whatever you want and add whatever text you have. Obviously I have a written camera because it's, it's the first thing I'm looking at right now. But you can kind of get the get the picture and really just kind of let your imagination go free and just really go on and design as much as you can. Maybe put in some different images here. But yeah, you can obviously add your own colors, your own logos and everything is interchangeable and you can pretty much customize all of these templates to be just exactly what you need. You have different versions here. So if you have a three tier price list and you have that, if you have a two tier price list and then just different versions of the same information. So different ways to kind of get that client to finally commit to paying for your service, right? This is all, these are all extremely good designs to kind of get your client to that end goal. 
Here we have different versions of the FAQs. We have a toggle list. So this is just a few sentences that the reader can read. And then some more information here. And then just different ways, again, of showing the same kind of questions or the same information. Here we have CTA sections. And so these are pretty much used to kind of get the client to finally get sign up, right? Or get started or whatever it is that you guys need to get your clients to do or your customers to do. And here we have newsletters, we have stats, and we have testimonials. Now, regardless of what your service is or what your website is or what product you're building online, Tailwind UI can be an extremely valuable product for you guys and for you as a team and as a company. The reason being is because there's something in here for absolutely everybody. Try to remember that the elements are completely customizable and you can kind of do whatever you want with them, right? But the formatting is there for you to use and to take advantage of. So this just keeps going and I'm not gonna go too much into detail into every single one of them, but just so you guys can kind of get an idea, this is how many different pages you can use for your service and for your website, whatever it is that you're building. You also get different overlays and modals, you get slide overs, you get notifications, so different ways to communicate notifications. You also get avatars, so different sizes and shapes for the avatar's image. You get buttons and all the elements to kind of create that text on your own if you wanted to. So you can take all of these separate elements and then kind of create your own version of the Tailwind UI component system. You can kind of build upon what they've given you and create something different, but using kind of the same content and the same the same fonts and elements and buttons and whatever. But you kind of have the option of, of changing it and and doing your own thing with it. And then of course, once you have a few of these pages put together, the one thing that you can do is click on the frame, go over to prototype and start creating prototypes with different pages and with different elements. And then you can really kind of start to build that first MVP of your product and really try to get it out into the market without fully building it and without fully going into, into CSS and hiring a dev if you need to. And this is just an amazing, amazing tool that you can use using Figma and using Tailwind. Now, if you guys haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to see another weekly video just like this one. I tend to cover design and other Figma topics, so make sure that you subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.